I'm going to talk about our new carrier APUs. So they're all the same in all the trucks other than the Volvos. So first thing is that the truck must be off and the key must be off. And it's a simple push button to turn it on. It'll tell you, please wait, APU is starting. Now that we have our APU running, we can go to menu and we can pick up battery monitor, temp start, maximum runtime, calibrator voltage, DPF manager, and we can check our faults. And each truck, each driver can put their own password in there and have it on a timer. So we have a battery monitor, hit the menu, and you'll notice the battery monitor is on, which is also the lightning bolt here. So if we're going to park the truck for any length of time, turn our battery monitor on. So if we forget to turn the refrigerator off, the APU is automatically going to start and keep our batteries charged up. Our air conditioning unit, we want the air conditioner. It's simple, one push. Blue dial, we run it all the way down. That's as cold as it's going to get. And we have our fan controls here. So we have a fan low and a fan high. All the units have heat in the, in the temperature control. They are disabled. We can turn it on, but we'll probably fault the unit out because they are disabled. We can go to escape reset. So everything that we've already put in there, we can go ahead and escape out of it and, and reset that what we need to. Turn our air conditioner back off. Turn the APU off. And we have our S-Bar heater, which is a separate heater. That's why these are on the APU is disconnected. So it's push the button one time, it says heater stopped. Push the button again. It says heater enabled and it has a red arrow. This is our temperature control so we can go hotter or we can go colder. This will run for 10 hours. After a 10 hour period, it will set back off and you will need to reset it. That's it.